Hi, Chris. Thanks for your question. Uh, if you are getting this integral in a Calculus 1 class, I salute you. Um, let's go ahead and figure out what the heck this is equal to. As you can see, I've started a u substitution over here. Uh, we're going to let u equal the square root of x. And that means that, of course, u squared is equal to x. We're going to go ahead and differenti differentiate implicitly here so that we have 2u du is equal to dx. Now we're going to write this integral in terms of u. So the top will become u and the bottom becomes u minus 3. Our dx now becomes 2u du. Let's go ahead and simplify that. As I'm sure you can figure out, the top is 2u squared. The bottom is u minus 3 and we are integrating with respect to u. Already much easier on the eyes. Um, we have to use a little trick to split this up. Since we can't split up denominators, what we're going to have to do is divide this denominator into uh, the numerator using polynomial division. Luckily, we're just dividing by a linear uh, expression. So we can go ahead and use synthetic division and get it over with rather quickly. So using synthetic division, um, it looks like we have two u squared, no u's, uh, no constants. Let's drop this down, multiply these together. Okay, so that's what we end up with um, when we divide u minus 3 out of the numerator, which means that 2u squared is equal to u minus 3 times 2u plus 6 plus 18 over u minus 3. So we can go ahead and rewrite this integral as a sum of two integrals as so. The u minus 3 will just drop out since we're dividing by that. Our first integral will end up being 2u plus 6 du. We're adding our next integral, which is our remainder, 18 over u minus 3 du. The integral of 2u plus 6 du is 2u squared over 2 plus 6u. And with the second integral, um, we can do another v substitution if necessary, um, so that you could say that u minus 3 is equal to v, so du is equal to dv. Your integrand in this case would end up being um, 18 over v dv. So if you integrate that, you would get ln of the absolute value of v. I'm going to go ahead and skip that up here since we just went over it. Um, so this becomes 18 ln of the absolute value of u minus 3 plus c. Can ever forget the plus c. Okay, let's go ahead and simplify and put things back in terms of x here. So we have the square root of x squared plus 6 times the square root of x plus 18 times the natural log of the absolute value of the square root of x minus 3 plus c. This first term, of course, becomes the absolute value of x and everything else will stay the same. Okay, thanks again for your question, Chris, and I do look forward to answering more of your questions using SnapMath in the future.